Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is Tarot by Melissa, and in today's reading, we will be looking ahead into the month of February and looking at what is next in love. So as always in this reading, we're just going to get some insight into the most significant energies, people, situations of significance uh, that, is, that are potentially headed your way this month. Getting into our disclaimers, please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so some of the messages may apply quite specifically and accurately to you and your situation, while others of the messages might not. So if it doesn't feel like it fits for you and your situation, simply just release it and let it go. Please do not allow it to get you upset, right? Remember, it's a general reading, nothing is personal, and you know... You can always opt to book a personal reading if you want to get a more specific look into your own energy. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into our pile selection. So we do have a choice between three different readings for today's pick a card. Uh, if you're drawn to card number one, we're working with the Bumblebee Jasper crystal here. For card number two, we're going to be working with this little Firefly Quartz crystal. And for pile number three, we're working with this little Sunstone crystal. So I would love for you guys to take a deep breath. Think about the upcoming month of February and what's next for you in love. Who's coming toward you? What lessons are you learning? Etc. Go ahead and select the card or crystal that you feel the most intuitively pulled to. And once you've made your choice, you can scroll down to the description box below to locate the timestamp that will take you to your selected reading. See you there. Hey, Pile One, if you guys selected the Bumblebee Jasper, this will be your reading. So we're going to be looking into what's next in love for you guys coming up in this month of February, starting off with your overall energies. So... We're going to kick off here with the archetype cards, and this is the Siren. We have Control. And we have Obstacles. Okay. Overall energy. We're going to get more info here in a minute, guys, but... Initial messages. We have this archetype here of the siren. So for some of my viewers watching Pile 1, this could be the energy of you, right? The energy that you're embodying this upcoming month of February in love. For others of you, this could also signify a specific person. Um, it could be a combination of both. But the archetype of the siren is really interesting because this is kind of like that femme fatale energy. It's giving me the energy of seduction or allure, um, being really drawn to something that might even feel wrong in a sense, right? Because when we think of a siren, we think of someone being lured to, um, like, I don't know, like what's coming to mind for me is like the stories about mermaids, right? Like how they were these sirens that used to seduce sailors with their air of mystery and like lure them to like their demise, <laughs> you know what I mean? So. There is something about that coming through, and I don't know yet if it's your own energy or if it's something about you guys being drawn to something or drawn to someone um, that feels maybe a bit mysterious, maybe a little bit tempting. I could also see this femme fatale energy kind of being like, you know, with the control card, keyword here being taking back power, right? The siren can control you, or it can kind of be maybe you embodying this energy in order to like remain in your power, right? Because I think of a siren as being like, they know their power. They know that they're alluring. They know that somebody wants them. And it's that femme fatale energy of kind of using that raw, um, kind of unbridled feminine energy to your advantage to get something. So definitely that energy of control is really interesting here as it connects to this message of the siren. But we also have this energy of obstacles here as well. Blocks, pathways, and delays. And we have this gigantic rock here that's like in the center of the road. So there's definitely a situation here that's coming up for you guys this month where it may feel 
difficult or it may feel like things aren't moving as quickly as you would like. Um, it could even be talking about like getting to the bottom of this energy and how maybe this energy itself is a blockage. So let's just jump right into the tarot for you guys. Pile one. I want to begin with the situation. So tell us more, please, Spirit, about the situation that Pile 1 is dealing with as it pertains to their love life this month. What's happening in love for Pile 1? Page of Wands. Show me the energy of my viewers for pile one. Where do they stand in their love life this month? Ooh. The Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay. Show me a person, any person, love interest of significance. Who's coming toward pile one this month, potentially? Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and then we have the Devil card at the bottom of the deck, which is really interesting. We also have a Three of Cups underneath of that. So, okay, very interesting pile one. I see that there is a situation this month with the Page of Wands. Like, this could be kind of like a new, new communication with someone. Um, it could be a new person that's coming into your life, um, a new connection, a new experience. The Page of Wands is signifying kind of an excited, impulsive, but scattered energy, right? It's kind of messy. You see how it's kind of messy here on the stove? And it comes from like the fact that this page signifies a really youthful kind of immature energy that's very spontaneous and very impulsive and is still learning kind of how to tame their impulses. And I feel like that's part of the story that these cards are telling, right? Because there seems to be this acknowledgement that something is very tempting this month to you. And you, my viewers, are really working with this Queen of Swords and this control to ensure that you're not falling victim to temptation, that you're not falling victim to people or situations that um, you know may not be good for you, ultimately. I'm especially seeing that here with the devil at the bottom of the deck, um, which is kind of the undertone of this person or this situation here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like whoever is coming towards you It might be unexpected. It might be something that comes out of the blue, like someone asking you out, someone coming into your life, um, someone that you're just not expecting. <laughs> um, I'm also seeing this for some of you, if this is not a specific person, because you know, in these general readings, some of you will have someone coming toward you, but others of you may not, right? It may just be other types of factors. The Wheel of Fortune can sometimes talk about like circumstances that are outside of our control. They're like fated, they're destined. It's kind of like just a chance event that happens. So I'm thinking for some of you, there could be some sort of change in your external circumstances that are impacting your love life this month. Um, but with the Queen of Swords, this is definitely about being discerning, right? It's definitely about being discerning. It's about being um, in control. And cutting through the BS, cutting through confusion, having strong boundaries, but being fair. Um, this Queen of Swords looks kind of in, like she like she means business, though, right? That's how I feel with you guys being here. Like, I don't really see you being interested in the mess that this situation may be potentially bringing to you. Okay, so let's continue. What else does Pile 1 need to know about their love life this month, please? What else? 
else is happening in love? What do they need to know about this situation, please? We have express your love. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> yes, you guys. Like, we do have new love. So, yeah, I kind of stand by what I said. It definitely seems like there's some sort of a new situation, a new person coming toward you. But I feel like you guys may perceive this person to be a bit scattered or in and out or inconsistent, especially with both of these cards, like Page of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. It's a lot of ups and downs. Look at all this fire. I feel like there could be like a high amount of chemistry. Maybe you guys meet this person in some sort of like friend group or community that you're in, you know, like where there's like-minded people. But there's definitely this energy of red flags being a concern, right? The signs are cautioning you. This is where the obstacles and delays are coming in. But I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I, I almost kind of feel... Like, this is you with this Queen of Swords. Like, you guys are, like, putting the blockage up out of protection of yourself because of whatever you're perceiving to be off about this person, whatever you're see you're seeing to be, like, tempting or maybe toxic about the situation. You know, red flags are not necessarily, like, deal breakers always, right? Sometimes you have to kind of just probe further and ask questions <laughs> to, to understand like um, what you're seeing, right? And we have expressed your love, right? So there's something here about you with this Queen of Swords communicating with this other person or communicating about this type of situation, you know, um, to cut through whatever is confusing you. So yeah, I actually kind of see the obstacles as being more like you slowing things down because you're like, hold on a minute, person, like, tell me more about this or <laughs> tell me more about that. Um, definitely, I see my viewers, you know, you all are in a very empowered energy. You all did select a Bumblebee Jasper, which this is a really great um, crystal to support self-esteem and self-worth and just standing confidently in your power with who you are. You know what I mean? So it's definitely no coincidence that you were drawn to that. Okay, so let's continue. What else do they need to know for pile one? Tell us more about this situation. Yeah, see, there's power dynamics, like power dynamic issues here. Control and power issues, restraint, unenthusiastic, being let on, getting pulled, and overwhelmed. See, there's mess. It's messy. This seems just like a situation that's really new. I think that the communication may be scattered, and that's feeling like a red flag for you. And I feel like you, my viewers, want to maintain control over the situation and control over yourself so that you're not getting burned like this stove here. Let's see. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, you guys are kind of like cold. <laughs> you know, where this person's kind of hot, they have a lot of fire. I think you guys are kind of cold toward them. Like there's definitely a very um, frigid, direct, um, like you're standing on your boundaries. You know what I mean? So I kind of think this person, maybe a person with this Wheel of Fortune, I feel like they may have some sort of external factors going on in their life that are part of like the red flags and the obstacles that are here. Because we have taking out the trash. This tells me that this person is like, letting go of old energies, like potentially getting out of a relationship. Maybe they've just broken up with someone recently. And we also have the stork here. So this person could also have like children or for some of you, maybe like the person they're breaking up with is pregnant or something like that. Like 
it just feels like messy. Like there's something about them that is messy that you guys don't like. (laughs) And so I feel like you guys find this out and it's like about you just kind of standing in your boundaries. And it doesn't mean that you have to be like mean to this person because it is, it does seem like a new person, like a new opportunity. And this is a soulmate. It looks like, you know, there's some sort of lesson. You guys are drawn to each other for a reason, you know, but I think that this month is just about you remaining steadfast in your boundaries and not allowing yourself to be pulled around by this person's messiness, like whatever mess they have going on in their personal life. Because you deserve better than that. You have higher standards for yourself than that. So I want to pull a few cards just to see who this person may be, just to get some clues about them. And then we're going to close it out with some messages of advice or guidance for you. And we're also going to pull one for your person, just so we can kind of understand what's going on with them (laughs) deep down. So... Pile one, tell me a little bit about their, who is this person? So we have Leo energy. That makes sense. There's a lot of fire that I'm seeing in these cards. Outgoing, humorous, faithful, generous, patronizing, stubborn, and dramatic. Yeah, they're definitely a fire sign for a lot of you or just have that energy about them. Maybe you guys are really drawn to fire signs or just that type of confident energy. Ooh, we also have Aquarius. There's like an unpredictability, you know, with that Wheel of Fortune and Uranus being here. Imaginative, independent, compassionate, unpredictable, (laughs) detached, and temperamental. It could be that this person is like really warm when you guys are together, but then kind of detached when you're not. Definitely seems there's some sort of like inconsistency with them. And I feel like it has to do with whatever this stuff is in their personal life that maybe you're finding out about this month. We also have the year of the dog. Loyal, sociable, courageous, diligent, steady, lively, adaptable, honest, and smart. So yeah, definitely a, this definitely feels like a really outgoing person for sure. Um, We have Gemini energy here as well. So let's see, pal one, let's just get like, your guidance for this month. What's the lesson you're learning this month in love? What's the message to keep in mind for my pile one viewers? Yeah, like I just keep feeling like this person has a kid, like a child with a page of one. Like it feels like there's something to do with children here for some of you guys. All right, pile one. Guidance and advice for pile one as they navigate this month in love. Secure. I do not feel threatened by other success. There is enough supply to go around for everyone. I don't know if the message is really about success, but to me, it's more about feeling secure in who you are. You know what I mean? Securing yourself, securing your boundaries, secure in your communication, and continuing to stay in your power. You know what I mean? Um, it could be, too, that this person, they definitely seem to have an outgoing personality based off the cards that we're pulling here, right? So this person could be a person that draws a lot of attention to them. They could be a person that has a lot of people that are, like, pulling at their energy or wanting to be around them. Um, and maybe the way they handle it, maybe you see something about the way they handle it that feels inappropriate or messy like maybe they struggle with boundaries or something like that Um, but that could be what this is talking about with success as well like maybe it's more so about this person getting a lot of attention and you my viewer continuing to stay secure and confident in yourself despite the fact that this person is someone you might have to share with other people like share your time with you know all right let's get a card to represent this person for pile one. Universe. I trust in the laws of karma to balance the scales of any injustices. This person is like, look, and they have composure. I think they have anger issues. They may be under a lot of pressure in their personal life as well. And, um, I think that maybe this person is struggling with this idea of like, 
you know, this card, it's taking out the trash, finally dumping that loser. I do feel like they are still cleaning up um, from a past relationship or a recent relationship. And they may still be struggling with like holding a grudge over what happened to them and the way that things went down. I think that they may have some anger around that still. And so what I see for this person is like, they need to work on with this control energy being here. This is both of you. This person needs to work on like their trust in the universe and their trust that like maybe this these circumstances were faded and they're not understanding why it happened, but they have to learn to trust in the universe that like everything happens for a reason and they don't need to personally do anything to like get back at anyone because the universe always takes care of it. You know what I mean? So, wow, pile one, this is super intense. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Like, how does this resonate? Who do you feel like this could be? Are you already talking to this person? Let me know. If you're not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be updated when I post the next reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye. Hey, pile two. If you guys picked out this Firefly Quartz Crystal, this is going to be your reading. So we're looking into what's next in love in the month of February. So let's go ahead and jump right in to the overall energies. So from the archetypes deck, we have the strategist. We have the brunette female. Ooh, and then we have the ice queen. Wow. Okay, pile two. Overall energy. Definitely a very focused energy in love that I'm seeing with pretty much all of these cards here. Um, the strategist is really interesting because we see somebody here who's playing chess. And in order to play chess, you have to be very strategic. You have to be very logical. And this game also requires you to be able to have like the gift of foresight in a way. Like you have to be able to anticipate what your opponent is going to do and look at their pieces on the board versus your pieces on the board and be able to even see like multiple different moves in advance and how it could play out either to your advantage or not. So it's like a very logical energy that I see. Um, I feel like you guys are – I feel like it's just an energy of, like, being inc incredibly discerning in your love life this month with the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen is giving a similar energy to, like, the Queen or King of Swords, similar energy to this as well. Um, I feel like you guys have been hurt in the past as it pertains to love. You've been hurt really badly. And I think part of whatever happened to you, uh, whatever you've gone through, it's kind of taught you this discernment, right? To like kind of maybe think more logically instead of projecting rose-colored glasses onto someone and to be kind of cautious in a way, like to be able to look ahead and anticipate what somebody else is going to do before they do it. And I see you guys being very intensely focused as well on someone or something in your love life. Um, I want to, let's just go ahead and continue pile two. I want to see a little bit more about what this situation is. Okay, so... Pile two. What is this situation about for pile two this month in love? Eight of Swords. 
show me the energy of my viewers and where they stand this month in love. Ooh, high priestess. Yeah, the gift of foresight. <laughs> Who's coming towards them? Who's this about? Four of Wands. It doesn't have Three of Cups energy at the bottom of the deck, so there could be um, maybe an emphasis on getting out and hanging out with friends, too, for some of you guys. Sometimes the Three of Cups can indicate, like, third-party energy. I don't see that super directly here, but it, I'm wondering if it's something that some of you guys might be worried about because I just see you as being so, like, fixated and focused and so, like... detached almost in your approach here like detached but not at the same time so I gotta be honest with you guys I almost feel like this energy I know that it's here because you're trying to protect yourself right but I feel like this energy is keeping you stuck in a way with the Eight of Swords because the Eight of Swords can talk of like self-sabotaging beliefs, self-sabotaging beliefs and behaviors. And it's kind of like when we feel stuck in a certain situation or stuck in our ways and we feel like we don't have any way out, even though we do. Like if you take a look at this card, you can even see how the woman in the card literally has the sword in her hand to just cut these restraints off of her. And then she's free. I just feel like you guys could be fearful or feeling like your circumstances are a lot worse than they actually are. Because this feels, it almost feels like a preoccupied energy. Like, Yeah, it's like this need to stay two steps ahead. You guys have a lot of um, intuition. Like you have a very strong intuition. You have very strong gut instincts. And I don't know, like for some reason I kind of see you guys as being like more reserved into yourself. Like – with this intense intensity of this focused, like, brunette female energy and then, like, the high priestess, I see you as watching, observing. Almost, like, out of fear to fully show your hand or out of an abundance of discernment. Some of you guys could be pulling like cards or doing divination as well this month as it pertains to your love life. But it's like the person coming toward you with the four of wands, like this is showing me really warm, inviting energy, homey energy, celebratory energy. Um, again, there's like an emphasis here on friendship and comfortability. Um, doesn't feel threatening at all from what I see here, but let's continue. Maybe there's more to the story here. There usually is. <laughs> All right, what else does Pile 2 need to know about their love life this month? You deserve love. Okay. That you do. Absolutely. Okay. Let your friends help you. I'm wondering if for some of you guys, this month is more about like, you guys leaning more on your friends to get through a tough time. 
Because I see the other person more as your friends. We have calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the deck, which is about like visualizing and praying for your soulmate. Like you are calling in and manifesting through your thoughts, affirmations, your energy, your person. But I don't necessarily see that person here yet. I see an emphasis on friendship this month and your community. I think part of like what your friends can be helping you with this month pile too is like getting you a little bit out of your stuckness, you know? I think that if you allow them to support you and kind of accept invites, go out with them, have fun, maybe go on a trip or travel with them, this is going to open you up and like soften you up a little bit as well. Um because I just see a lot of fun, like really fun, beautiful energy with your friends here. And I feel like they want to be there to support you. A lot of this energy is coming from a place of standards, right? Maintaining high standards, maintaining your boundaries. So I feel like this month is also kind of like there's an emphasis on self-love as well, you know, and I'm feeling for some of you guys, like, this is a month where the arrow, like, is sort of pulled back. You might feel like you're taking a step back in love in some way, but you know the saying about the arrows that it has to be pulled back in order to shoot forward into the next thing. Right, And the high priestess is also kind of about being reserved and pulling back your energy and just kind of assessing. Listening to your gut instinct before you propel forward like the arrow. So let's just continue here, pile two. What else do you guys need to know about what's happening this month in love? We have what a catch. Yeah, because I feel like you guys want, you guys are calling in like the one. We also have true love here at the bottom underneath of that, right? So there's this desire for an ideal partner. But I feel like, see, this card talks about self-esteem and value. So definitely like this month is about growing in those things. Um But I feel like it's also about you shifting into more of an abundance mindset when it comes to love so that your manifestations are more easily connected to you. See, you guys have this shy energy here. Okay, like there's a shyness about getting out of your comfort zone or going out. Um, maybe even a hesitancy even to just hang out with your friends. See, we have staying in. Night in your space, a moment alone, a partner is busy, free time or mental vacation. I definitely think that your friends, you and your friends could be spending some time in. You know what I mean? Like instead of going out, you're like kicking it, as this card says. Just like having casual fun times with friends this month or family. Um. And I feel like your friends want to help you get out of your shell, get out of your comfort zone, get out of any awkwardness that you are feeling. Okay, so I'm not really seeing pile two, like any specific person here for you, but we're still going to see who may be the most significant person presenting to you in your love life this month. Let's see, pile two. Who's the most significant person that pile two should be aware of and love this month? <sighs> it's way too many. Sorry, guys. We have Aries energy. Okay. 
We have Libra energy. And we have Cancer. I'm just kind of wondering if these are like the zodiac signs of some of your friends. <laughs> we do also have the year of the rabbit here at the bottom of the deck. And for these signs, we have water, air, and fire. So pile two. Let's just close this out with your word of advice. Um, what lesson are you learning this month? What do you need to know, et cetera? I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. Yes, you do. You know, kind of um, similar to pile one, you know, they had a similar message about self-love in theirs. And so I think, you know, this month, a lot of this kind of more protective energy is about you guys just really sticking to your standards. Right? Kind of making that promise to yourself that like you deserve what you want. Like you deserve to have the soulmate that you desire, right? That's going to show up for you in a supportive, reciprocal manner. We also have open book. You are not obligated to share everything with others. Keep certain ideas and thoughts to yourself in order to preserve the magic. So this kind of makes sense. Like maybe even with your friendship groups, you guys are... Um, You know, there's like this energy of withholding and just being cautious. So whether it's with your friends or even if it's with, you know, potential love interests, I think that this high priestess is definitely talking about like you kind of leaning back and observing and kind of leaning into that so that you can really see and feel out what's happening with the other person. And sometimes it can be good to like hold off on revealing all the most intimate parts of yourself until you feel like you've gotten to know somebody properly, right? So I think that you guys are already kind of embodying this energy this month as well, based off what I see here. So pile two, I'm definitely curious to hear what's been going on with you. Like I said, I definitely don't really see a love interest here for you. I'm seeing more of an emphasis on friendships and maybe even like recovering from a past disappointment in love. So comment below. Let me know um, how this resonates and what's been happening with you in love. If you guys are not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be updated when I post the next reading and I will see you there. Bye. Hey, Pile 3, if you guys picked out the little sunstone crystal, this will be your love reading for the month of February. So let's go ahead and start with your overall energies to see what's in store for you. So Pile 1, I'm sorry, Pile 3, excuse me. So we start off with the message of the wolf. Okay. Ooh, we have travel. And then we have open relationship. Okay. So I feel like with this archetype of the wolf coming up here in the overall energy, the wolf is really talking about trusting your kind of like primal instincts, right? I feel like it's also about intuition too for a lot of you guys where it's like listening to your body, listening to what you need for survival purposes, right? <laughs> or whatever. And honoring that. Not like forcing yourself to be like put into a box, not forcing yourself to be like constrained or being in a position where you have to suppress a need, like an innate need or um, something that you need. Okay. I'm like totally 
just repeating myself over and over. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. Um, it's a little bit of a wild energy. I'm not going to lie. Um, I definitely see this month, you guys, like being in this place of desiring freedom as well. Some of you guys could be taking a trip somewhere, traveling. This could be like a solo travel situation. Um, but for others of you, there's also this casual energy. Like it feels like there's a person that's in your life, but the energy of this connection feels casual or non-committal right now. Um, it could be that it's a new connection, and so it's kind of normal for it to be non-committal. But maybe for others of you, there's something about this wolf, like where you feel that you need more openness in the relationship, right? Um, or that you just don't want a commitment right now because it doesn't meet your needs. Um, all right, let's just, let's just keep going. Let's get the tarot next. I'm curious to see the details here. So pile three, please tell us a little bit more about pile three and what's happening for them in love this month of February. Please show me like a card just to rep represent the situation itself. As I'm shuffling, I keep seeing like the two of wands, the three of wands, like lots of cards that indicate kind of like this travel energy and freedom. Oh, okay. And look what flew out. We have the two of wands and we have the judgment card as well. We're not taking reversals today. Um, this represents the situation. Okay. Show me the energy of my viewers, please. Where do they stand with regard to their love life this month? Nine of Swords. And then show me the energy of the person that they're dealing with. Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, definitely seeing a little bit of a difference <laughs> in you and this person and like the needs and um, <sighs> the situation is interesting because I feel like you guys are kind of in this place where it's time to decide like what you want to do about this connection that you're in. Your person is showing up here with this 10 of cups, which is leading me to believe that you and this person maybe have been together for a long time. Maybe you have had like a family with this person, or maybe if that's not the case, this person just has really deep romantic feelings for you, or maybe you are kind of like their ideal partner and they have love for you. But I feel this really restless energy here with like the wolf and the travel and the open relationship and the two of wands. You know, the two of wands is telling me that it's time when it comes to this connection to make a choice. You know, are we going to stick together or is it time for us to kind of go our separate ways so that we can explore other things? The two of wands, it's also kind of like one foot in and one foot out the door, right? Like there seems to be this desire to travel for a lot of you guys. It could be you and this person are not on the same page about where to travel or where to live even. Um, but if that's not the case, I think you, my viewers, are desiring expansion. You're desiring to travel. You're desiring to move, right? And so the judgment card is saying, like, it's asking us or you in this instance and your person, really, to say, like, okay, are we on the same page? Like, where is this relationship going? Does the other person really fit into my idea of what I'm looking for for my life? Not even just a partnership, but for my life in general. And so I'm wondering if this is why we have the open relationship here. Like maybe there's something about keeping things casual or opening up the relationship that's on the table because maybe neither one of you wants to leave the other one completely, you know? But there's like this instinctual, like innate desire, I feel, to travel, to move, to fulfill some other type of needs here. It's very restless. You guys with the nine of swords might be really like in your head about this this month as well, like feeling really um, 
guilty about it, feeling maybe a little bit stressed about it, maybe even overthinking things quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that your person is represented by the Ten of Cups. Like this is the type of person that's like, like they want a family. They want to have that like idyllic. I don't see this as being a person that would want an open relationship. That's what I'll say. Because this this person wants kind of like the traditional. And it feels like there's a conflict here because maybe you guys don't want the traditional. Um, these energies can also be flipped, by the way. Maybe this is you and this is your person, uh, pile three. Um, I'm just wondering if there is like a misalignment in values right now. Okay, so the other thing I'm getting too is like, especially if this is a new connection for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you, my viewers, are just like not as into it as they are, right? And that's kind of what's pulling you away. You're, you're feeling like maybe the grass is greener elsewhere. So even though they really like you, you may not feel the same way, you know? Okay. Let's see. Pile three. This is so interesting. Also, please, you guys, like, some one time somebody yelled at me in the comments because of, like, open relationships being mentioned in my readings. I literally cannot control it. Okay, like, I pre-shuffle the cards. I don't, like, hand pick them. It just is what it is. So if this is not your thing, then this may not be your reading, and you can click off. <laughs> okay. All right. So pile three. Show me what else they need to know about their love life this month. Yeah, see, we have new love. So yeah, this this may be a new person. We also have stay optimistic about your love life. Look, we have children. See, like maybe your person has children or maybe you guys are having like a difference of opinion about children, having them, where to raise them, something like that. Um, hmm. I definitely feel like that message of staying optimistic about your love life is almost coming up as like an advice message for you, Pile 3, because I see you all stressing hard about this. And I feel like, especially if this is a new love, if this is not somebody that you have like been in a relationship with for like years, um, I feel like you need to continue to stay optimistic and remember that like there are going to be all different types of people out there and not everybody is going to agree with you about how they want what they want in a relationship, but there will be somebody out there for you, right? I just am getting a really non-traditional energy from this reading. Like you guys are not wanting something that's like in the traditional box necessarily, or maybe you just don't want it with this person, right? That's also a possibility. But if you kind of fall in that camp of like I don't really think I want to have children, I don't think I want to like get married and all that kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to want like an open relationship. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you do. But the point I'm trying to make is that there will be someone out there for you that has similar values, right? It may be more rare because in our society, like most people want this, you know. Um, but you have to be optimistic, right? Because the more negative you think about it, the harder it's going to be to attract that in. And it's also just going to create stress. OK? So pile three, what else do they need to know about their love life this month? Friend zoned. Yes. It just feels like whoever you guys are connecting with, you're just not really into it like that. Okay? Like, yes. And it's making you just want to be free. We have wicked. 
Okay. I think you guys just want to have fun. I think you just want to explore. Let's see. We also have cheers. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a case of like unrequited love, right? Somebody here in this connection, and I feel like it's you, my viewer, are not interested in this person in the way that they're interested in you. And the other thing I get from this card is like, you see how we have this little, it almost looks like the little location pin, and it's just like in a box, right? Somebody is wanting to put something into a box. So even if it's not friend zone, it's like there's a box that doesn't feel right to you. You know what I mean? Like when I see this energy of wicked, I feel like you guys still are wanting to be free. Like you're still wanting to have fun and just like be a little mischievous and explore. But the one thing that I think it's important for you, my viewers, to know about this card is that it also talks about things like being naughty, harmful, false, pe false portrayals, lying, cheating, things like that. So there could be, for some of you, a, a scenario where you're feeling some guilt over some of those types of things like cheating or lying. If that's not the case, though, again, this is new love. I think it's really important for this group to stay true to who they are. And don't put yourself in, in a place where you feel like you have to show up in a way that you think this person wants to see you, right? Like, if you want to travel with your partner, for instance, and maybe you don't see yourself having kids like they want, it's okay to just say that. Just be be yourself. Be true to who you are, right? Um, because I think what could be really bad is if you say that you want some of these things, but you actually don't. You know, that's not that's that's falsely portraying yourself to the other person. Okay. We also have cheers. So there's this energy of dating that I see here, meeting new people. Um, new beginnings, which is really beautiful. But I also feel like this is this person's energy, like wanting to take you out on dates. Like this person seems like a person that really knows that they want to settle and have children and a family and all the things. And they probably are the type of person that would like date you properly is what I see with that. Take you out on proper dates, not hanging out like Netflix and chill, not like, hey, what are you doing? Like, no. <laughs> It seems like a person that would actually want to do things properly, okay? Wow. So pile three, this is so interesting. Let's um, close it out by getting some info into, like, who this person is. And then we'll get you some advice, okay? Pile three. So who is this person that's coming toward pile three this month? The, uh, oh, the other thing that I kind of see here, you guys, for some of you, this may just be for like a select few. If you guys have been with this person a long time, you could be celebrating like a big milestone with them this month, but maybe you're feeling guilty because there's someone else out there that you have found yourself feeling attracted to. We do also have this two of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, which can sometimes talk about juggling. So... May not apply. If it doesn't, just let it fly. But I just was getting that message, so I wanted to say it. Who is coming toward pile three in love? OK. Family or past connection. Makes sense with the Ten of Cups, which talks about family. So this could be somebody that you've known from your past coming back around to connect with you or reconnect with you. Um, this could also be like a past life connection as well, like a karmic partner. Let's see what else we get for pile three. New connection. OK, so this is a new connection for you. But somebody that you've known in a past life, maybe, or somebody that you've known. I feel like it could be somebody that you've known from the past. But like, maybe you guys never got out of the friend zone. Or maybe you guys just like never um, connected in a meaningful way. So it almost feels like a new connection to you even though you kind of know of this person. OK. 
Ooh, and this is somebody who's been watching you. They've been admiring you. So they're probably nearby and you just don't even realize it. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the year of the horse. So I'm gonna zoom these up here so you can just kind of see the dates and some of the traits of this. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna get you a closing message pile one. Let's just kind of see whatever it is that you guys need to know this month, okay? So pile one, ugh, pile three, I'm sorry if I keep calling you pile one. Pile three, closing messages for pile three. Closing messages for pile three. What do they need to know? Okay, we have memories. I do not focus on what is already gone. I choose to show up fully for myself and others in the present moment. So I feel like this is saying don't fixate on the past. Fixate on the present. Fixate on the now, okay? And maybe fixate is not the right word, but just be present and be in the moment. Um, and I think also, like, this card does kind of talk about losses, right? And I feel that you guys may end up walking away from this connection because I don't know that it's fulfilling to you. I don't know that you and this person are going to be compatible necessarily, okay? I could be wrong. I mean, it's a general reading. Every situation is different. But I feel like if you guys make the dis the decision to walk away from this person because maybe that you, got, you find you guys just are not compatible in whatever way, um... This card is about like letting it go, you know, letting it go, cherishing the memories that you had, cherishing the good times, but showing up for yourself and being focused on the present. It can be really hard sometimes when we have a past with someone or like when the past times that we had with them were really good because it can make us forget sort of like what's happening in the moment right now that's not so good. You know, it's like we cling on to the past version of someone or even the past versions of ourselves. But you're being guided to live in the moment with this card being here, pile three. So I hope this helped you guys out. Please comment below. I'm, I'm highly intrigued on this energy, pile three. I would love to hear from you. Uh, how does it resonate? What's been happening for you in love coming into the month of February? If you guys are not already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated once I post the next video. And I will see you there. Bye.